Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be testing out something pretty exciting. It's a bit of a long-term test and it was quite controversial when it first came out. Tati's Halo Beauty Hair and Nail and Skin Boosters. Patty Westbrook is a huge YouTube celebrity YouTuber. She's a little bit older than me, which is cool because she's a little bit more relatable than. She's been doing YouTube forever. She puts out a video every single day. These supplements claim to promote thick and luxurious hair growth, minimize fine lines and wrinkles, supports collagen and keratin production, and promote strong and healthy nails with anti-gray fighting enzy enzymes. It's a diary, dietary supplement. There's 60 caps in a jar. You're supposed to take two capsules every day and it says results may improve with regular use. They're distributed out of LA. And of course, she does recommend you talk to a health professional before you use these. They're gluten-free, soy-free, sugar-free, cruelty-free, and vegan. And here is a look at the supplements inside of the pills. Personally, I don't take a daily multivitamin, but I do occasionally take a vitamin C plus vitamin D tablet, especially in the winter here in Alberta, Canada. So I'm going to be stopping that and taking this exclusively as my kind of daily multivitamin for the next three months. That's right. I went ahead and got a three pack so we can give this a full three month trial. They do say of course that with regular use your results will improve and a lot of people say one month isn't quite enough time to like really see the results. So yeah, I'm gonna check in and uh, I'll let you know as we go along here. Now the downside is they're not cheap. I paid 119 US dollars for the three pack plus $12.95 shipping which cost me a grand total of $132.80 American dollars. Yes, each of these bottles is 40 American dollars. If you buy three bottles like I did, you get free shipping in the US, but of course I live in Canada, so I had to pay the extra shipping amount, but it did come really quickly. It took about two days to get here. Let me go ahead and zoom up and I will do a monthly check-in along the way here. This will be my first check-in, the very before. I would say my skin concerns right now are pretty typical. Obviously more moisture would be nice. I'm worried about fine lines and wrinkles at 33. My acne has really improved over 2018, so hopefully this doesn't cause me any acne. And I have been breaking out or having some sort of weird stuff on my neck, so hopefully that will go away. I do have a little gray hair patch and pretty frizzy hair. I will show you what a typical three month growth rate for my hair is. Here is what it looked like on January 1st and here is what it looked like in April, so about three months growth there. Aside from that, let me grab a glass of water and we can take a look at what the pills actually look like. It's interesting because of course Tati living the glamorous beauty lifestyle does have hair extensions. She gets her nails done and she does get She's talked about getting like Botox and lip injections. So some people have kind of called her out for promoting like this natural beauty stuff. Just smells like wheat or flour or something. And the pills are just this pink pill. Of course, taking two a day. These are a little bit large for, I, I'm really bad at swallowing pills, so. Here we go, it goes down fine. Ugh. All right, there's day one of the Tati Halo Beauty nail hair skin supplements. I will check in in one month's time when I am done these pills. Hopefully I remember to take them every single day. All right, here we go. Hey guys, good morning. I am just got out of bed and I'm taking my last two of the first bottle. 
of the Halo Beauty Pills. And one thing I did notice is that I do have one really tiny pill in there. So hopefully it's got some juice in there. Let's take them. So tomorrow I will be opening up my second bottle. But for now, let's do a skin check-in and general like status update. Something that's been happening this month that's a little irregular is... Well, it's kind of irregular? I don't know. I've been having a fair amount of breakouts on my cheeks and my chin area. Right now, I have this guy and a little bit of activity down on my chin. And I've pretty much had constant acne throughout the process. My nails definitely do feel stronger. And aside from that, has my skin changed or anything? I don't know. It's really hard to say. So I'm going to do a close-up now so you can judge for yourself. I'd say everything looks pretty much the same. I still have my little bit of discoloration up here. Um, I still have a regular amount of KP on my legs. My lips definitely have been less dry, but that could be because we switched out of winter. Sometimes I do think, you know, especially on my forehead, my skin looks a little bit smoother or a little bit, um, I guess, more plump. But again, it's hard to tell, is that real life or is that just fantasy? I guess the real test will be the before and afters, after I've uh, consumed all three bottles. I'm going to keep on checking and move on to the second bottle tomorrow. Bye. Holy crap, guys. I feel like as I get older, time just goes by faster. So, it's been three months since I started this video. And as you can see, I've managed to clear out my bottles of the Halo Beauty. And, which one is it? I have two, my last set of pills left. Let's finish them off. Let's take a look at the results here. So I'm not wearing any makeup, but I do have a brows and mascara on. Nothing on my face though. Hair wise, you can see my growth progress if we compare it to January. And if we compare it to when I started the video, there you go. I don't think it's like especially great growth. I think it would be normal growth. And the other thing these claim, pills claim to do is to reduce your gray hair. I have my regular gray patch going strong. This is one of those things that's a lot harder to test because it might not change your gray hairs back to brown or your normal hair color. It might just prevent future gray hairs. So I guess the short answer there is unless we see some sort of scientific study done, there's really no way to say if it actually is going to help with your gray hairs or not. Now to really compare, I'm going to throw on my plopping shirt so that we can get my hair out of my face. All right, so let's take a close-up look at my skin and then we can talk about what I experienced taking these for three months. I would say my skin has been really great over these last three months. Now, around January, I did switch birth control, so I'm not too sure. I mean, it's always hard to say what fixes or calms down your acne, but I feel like that probably was the major change. Uh, my skin definitely has cleared up. I usually always have breakouts 
on the, I guess, top face part of my chin. Lately, I've been experiencing just acne on the lower part of my chin, kind of like under the chin, down or along the neckline. I wrote some notes, so let's see what else I have. I wrote that my oiliness level, I would say, has stayed the same. My wrinkles and everything, I would say, stayed the same. No major improvement or reduction. My discoloration up here on my forehead, I think it's exactly the same. My lips have remained really dry and flaky, no major improvement there. My KP on my legs really hasn't improved. I still have those little red dots or strawberry legs. So I was really hoping that that would make a big difference without me having to like moisturize my legs or anything, but no, nothing there. Um, I did notice, and a lot of other people taking her pills have noticed, I guess it's a common multivitamin thing, that your pee might be a little bit brighter um, as it passes some of the nutrients that you won't be using out through the pee, so I did notice that. I guess the major difference I would have noticed is my nails definitely feel a lot stronger than they did before, which is a common result that you get from either prenatal or just your daily multivitamin, so... I definitely do like having stronger nails. We'll talk about it. I feel like if it helps your nails, it probably helps your hair as well. But I think I have pretty good, pretty regular hair growth. Uh, so hard to say. Minimize fine lines and wrinkles. Again, after three months, I would say I look the same. But you can tell me what you think looking at the close-up footage down below. Or if you've tried the pills yourself, definitely leave your comments down below. One thing I like about it is that it's marketed as a beauty thing and not a health thing. So oftentimes multivitamins are marketed as like a health thing. And I think it was really smart of Taddy to really zone in on her niche market, which would be beauty. So you're not really taking this to like improve your life. You're really taking it to improve, you know, your appearance, your beauty, your nails, like, you know, I like that. And I think if you are in the beauty community, that might help motivate you to take a multivitamin as opposed to just like taking one because you should because of health reasons, which I don't know, talk to your doctor. Maybe you should, maybe you shouldn't. One thing I noticed on the back of the package is it does say that there's two capsules and it contains 60 servings per container, which is a typo. It actually only contains 30 servings if you take two a day. I was reading up on it, apparently they fixed it for subsequent bottles. So if you bought one today, you wouldn't have that typo. Overall, I would say these pills didn't do anything adverse to me. I didn't have any adverse side effects. There was nothing like wrong with taking them. I just think they are too damn expensive for a normal person to incorporate into their beauty regime. I know it's an important part of your beauty regime to get like your nutrients and all the stuff you buy it in, but here's the thing, it doesn't need to cost $40 to get you there. You can get really close with a different set of pills. So I scoped out my grocery store to see if I could find anything similarly equivalent to that. And I found Compliments, which is Sobeys brand name. Sobeys is a grocery store here where I live in Alberta. It is their house brand of multivitamin. And you get 100 tablets, it was $6.49, and then it was also 50% off. And these don't expire until 2020. Uh, side note, the Tati vitamins also don't expire till 2020, so they have a good shelf life. Here's a look at the ingredients inside of the Complements brand. You can see it has a lot of the same ingredients. It's got biotin, your vitamin B1, 2, 6, C, D3. Obviously it is going to be different than the Tati pills. Every multivitamin is going to be a little bit different. So again, talk to your doctor. Um, you will notice that these contain 45 MCGs of biotin compared to the 3000 in Tati's pills. But the daily recommended intake is only about 300 MCGs. So it's somewhere in between these anyway. And I guess if biotin was that important to you, you might want to look at an actual like prenatal set of pills. These multivitamin instructions also say to take one each day. So, I mean, that's 100 days right there. That's $175 for three months and three and a quarter for 100 days. So for me at about 50 Canadian bucks a pop 
for these guys plus shipping plus duties it's just not sustainable it's not rational it's not needed at all so if you are excited about them maybe do a one-time three-month test just to see if you like the results but I would caution or warn you before you do that Maybe just go out and take a look in your grocery store and see if you can find something that's similar or has some of those ingredients that you feel would benefit you the most. Or again, talk to your doctor and get their recommendation to see, you know, what you should do because it's so expensive. I mean, I've documented my three month journey and at the end of it, I'm like, well, maybe there's a difference here and there. My nails are strong. Like, it's not like, wow, like my life has changed and I'm hooked on these not like that at all. I will say the packaging was really beautiful. You saw me drop this just now. It's a really sturdy plastic. It looks nice on your desk or where you, wherever you keep it. In summary, I am still happy to have gone on this strange internet journey. Like when I look at stuff like this, I just think, ooh, the internet is in my hands. Like when I got a Michelle Fan palette from one of my Ipsy bags, I was like, whoa, I'm holding like the internet in my hands but that's not really a selling point that's not really a reason for me to continue uh, using these pills all in all I think I'm going to rate them a two and a half out of five and I wouldn't recommend them to you guys again let me know your experience if you've tried these multivitamins yourself did you have good results did you notice anything did you have bad results I would love just all your experiences down in the comments below. Or if you haven't purchased them, why aren't you going to purchase them? There have been so many comments lately and I have just been enjoying it so much. Thank you so much for all your feedback. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful sharing my experience with you. Huge thanks, of course, to my patrons. Your donations definitely make experiments like this possible. So again, I thank you so much for supporting me, supporting this content. If you enjoyed my video, make sure you share it with anybody else who might find it helpful. And with that, you guys, I will see you all in my next beauty video. Bye. Happy Friday.